Yo, this your boy Truffle Butter bringing you another banger. I've been getting a lot of questions about my build, why I run what I run. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full breakdown of my build, why I run what I run, and why I feel like this is the best all-around build on the game. This build can travel anywhere, 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5, pro-am, rec, it doesn't matter. All-around the world build. So I run with a 6'8", two-way scoring phenom. I play at the center position simply because I want a high interior, high block, as well as high rebound. I make him 6'8", because I still want speed, agility, ball handling to move like a guard. I do understand playing the center and being undersized comes with its cons when you're dealing with seven-footers and paint beasts, but as you'll see in clips, the way I set up the build, we're not going to be worried about that. If you have a high IQ, you understand positioning, you know how to hit LT and box out, you're going to be just fine going up against those seven-footers with this undersized big. Trust me. This bill allows you to play one through five on offense and defend one through five on defense. But without further ado, let's get into the video and break this down, show you guys why this is the best all-around build on 2K25. If you haven't done so, hit the like button. Follow your boy. Like butter, baby. So first thing first, we're going to look at the dunk animations. For our two-foot moving dunks, we got on double clutch, rim grazer with pro contact dunks. For our one-foot moving dunks, again, we got on rim grazers, quick drops, as well as those pro contact dunks, okay? For our signature dunks, we got on Zach Levine and Russell Westbrook. All these dunk animations are quick, fast, hard to block, not too fancy where they're doing too much, okay? Our alley hoops are on Zion Williamson with the elite contact alley hoops. So when I made this build, it was four things that I wanted to do. I wanted to shoot the ball, attack the rim, play defense, and block shots. That's just what I like to do. So I went with the 93 driving dunk, so I'm able to attack the rim at a high level with the 81 ball handle so I can create my own shot. 76 speed with ball, so I got the silver lightning launch because I'm mostly being defended by centers and power forwards, small forwards, you know. Once I get the cooking, then they put the lock on me. Um, but then at that time, it's too late. Um, I also have the ability now with the 92 midi, 85-3, I can stretch the floor, dribble pull-ups, just a full onslaught arsenal on offense. On defense, even though I'm 6'8", when you couple that with the 92 interior, which now is 97 once I added the cap breakers, with the 84 block and the 84 strength, if I'm in position and you know what you're doing, you're going to be a problem on defense. But what I also do is to use my takeover. That gives me plus 15 strength. Now I have a 99 strength, 97 interior, 85 block, just wreaking havoc out there, okay? The 88 vertical is key. A high vertical allows me to beat those seven-footers on rebounds. 85 rebound, 88 vertical, you know, with, the, with a 90 strength or a 93 strength, depending on where my takeover is, even 99, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's going to be tough to defend. On defense, I can guard the perimeter, 60 perimeter defense. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but if you got stick work and know how to anticipate moves, you're going to be good on the perimeter. You're good on the inside. You have enough ball handling, speed with ball, shooting, dunking ability to finish. Um, the only thing I would suggest is don't take a lot of tough layups and close shots. This is our badge DNA here. It shows you um, how I use my. I put my max plus one on my rebound chaser so I can have the goal rebound chaser. And I put my max plus one on my box out beast. Um, that just helps with the rebounding. Again, uh, we want to dominate the rebounding. Here's some of the tier one badges here. Go dead eye, go posterizer, go rebound chaser, go shifty shooter, go set shot specialist. Um, that Hall of Fame strong handle is OP. Um, don't even want to speak on that too much. Um, tier two badges, box out beast, area wizard, uh, legend off, off ball pest. Um, gold post lockdown. Um, sometimes I'll put my max plus one on my post lockdown and get that at Hall of Fame um, versus the box out beast. But as you can see, those are the badges that we're equipped with. 
when I'm at threes, you'll see I'll have lightning launch on. Um, if I'm playing some threes, I'll turn on lightning launch because it's not that much rebounding. I'll burn guys or I'll put on the set shot specialist. If I want to shoot more in threes, twos, and ones, I'll do the same thing. But if I'm in rec, if I'm in fives, you want it on box out beast. You want it on rebound chaser. You're dealing with a lot more seven-footers, a lot more boar hunters. You're going to want that gold rebound chaser with that 6'8". You know, sometimes you can throw on the paint patroller versus the box out beast, just depending on um, if you can hit LT a lot. I know a lot of guys like to just chase the ball, but if you're going to play on this 6'8", you're going to have to box those guys out, then attack the ball, okay? But that 88 vertical, again, will allow you to jump over those guys, okay? Um, I've unlocked different takeovers depending on your play style, depending on what you use. That's totally up to you. I am using Great Wall, okay? Sometimes I'll use physicality, but I'm using Great Wall, you know? I got a, I got paint dominance unlocked right now. Um, I got physicality, splash tower. The commander was a nice one. Make it rain, I love in threes, okay? I get faster, shoot the midi, shoot the three. Make it rain is my favorite takeover in threes. Um, it's just... It's just OP to me um, once I get that speed with that with that 99 midi. But Great Wall, as you can see, once we hit level 5, we get plus 15. That maxes me out at 99 strength with that 97 interior, 85, 84 block. As long as you're not jumping too much, you're in position, you're going to be a problem to deal with. Now, when it comes to animations, I'm a little bit different. I just feel like whatever best personally suits you. But I know a lot of people have been asking about the walk back I be doing. It's the Jonathan Kaminga go-to go shot. I just use that, and then I just snap out of it and do different combos up out of it. Now, if the ball's in the off hand, he won't do it. But if the ball's in the the left left hand, he'll do the walk back, as you can see. You see what I'm saying? So, But these are all the animations that I'm using. Um, the pull-up that I'm using, everyone's been asking, is just normal, too. Um, just normal, too. Nothing fancy. I just love it. It's just a, it's a good pull-up. Creates a shit ton of space, as you guys can see in all the clips if you do follow me. Um, but yeah, these are all the signatures I use. Um, the snatchback that gives me that animation is the Zach Levine step back. Um, motion style Kawhi. I just like it for defense, but yeah. I I'm telling you if, you, if you go put this build together, tweak it, you know, adjust it, do what you do. But like, this is a good start, good template. If you really want to fully control the game and do whatever you want on the court, play any game mode. I'm not a person that likes switching builds and different jump shots, different animates. That shit gives me a headache. Uh, this build really allows me to just play the game comfortably no matter who I'm running with, no matter what game mode I'm in. Um, it's just it's just an overall fun-ass build to play with. If you like the video, hit the like button, comment, follow me. Like butter, baby.